Almighty God had placed it from within my heart to talk about homosexuality. He told me that he created man in his image, after his likeness, male and female, he created them. Almighty God told me that Jesus Christ was there in the beginning when he created heaven and earth. You can find that in John chapter 1. Read the whole chapter. He told me this was a father and son effort. Almighty God said he wanted his own family. Jesus Christ is the firstborn. Jesus Christ is the firstborn of Almighty God. And he was obedient to our Heavenly Father master plans. When God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness, Almighty God told me he was talking to Jesus Christ. Then Almighty God said, he made man in his own image after his likeness because he made Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ was there in the beginning when God created Adam and Eve. Jesus Christ made them. He made life in heaven and up on this earth. After Jesus Christ made man from the dust of this land, then Almighty God breathed into man's nostril his breath of life, and then man became a living soul. Almighty God created male first, and his name was Adam. He was the first male that Almighty God created upon this earth, and Jesus Christ made him from the dust of this land, and that body is called a soul. And that soul did not become living, not until Almighty God breathed his breath of life into man's nostril. Then man became a living soul. But God said, not only did his breath went inside man and went throughout man, but his breath was deposited inside of man. He told me that his breath was deposited in the testicle of male. Almighty God told me that his breath was deposited in the seed of male in their testicles. They had two of them. Just think about it. Almighty God breath is walking around upon this earth in the testicles of male. And when he a male has sex with a female, then his sperm is deposited into the egg of that female. You see how wonderful Almighty God made male and female? Almighty God breathed his breath of life in male, and male became a living soul. And out of one of the ribs of male, Almighty God created female. And when they have intercourse, they produce children. The woman produced children from the male. The male in the male testicle is the breath of Almighty God. Now, Almighty God had put this in my heart. He want me to talk about homosexuality. It is an abomination to Almighty God. The rectum, the anus, is a wasteland. It's a wasteland. And when a male has intercourse with another male or female in the butt, then they are putting the breath of Almighty God in a wasteland, in a place where waste come out of. And there are people who sat in power that is sitting up in power who had made it a law for this abominable act to take place. 
when they made homosexual activities legal and gave them rights to have intercourse in a place that God Almighty forbid. They are trying to make a criminal out of Almighty God. They are saying that Almighty God's law is a violation to their rights, rights that they made. Almighty God would rather you to have sex with a whore than to masturbate or have sex in someone's anus. Almighty God said he is not going after those people who is committing these acts. He said he are going after those who had put on his shoes, who had put on the shoes of Almighty God and came between Almighty God and his people. Those who had put on the shoes of a creator, a father, a judge, a leader who had cut Almighty God's children off from him, who had caused the well to go dry. Almighty God is going to get his children back, and he is going to change our spirit with the twinkling of an eye into the image from which he had created for our spirit to be like. But woe to those who are making laws against the commands of Almighty God. They got to face the judgment. These people do not want the truth to come out, mainly because the truth will tear down their walls of bondage. They want us to live a lie. Do you hate God that much? Do you want to be in power that bad from where you would rather destroy a life? It is abomination to have sex in a place that Almighty God did not design for a person to have sex in. They said Planned Parenthood is killing the babies. Oh no. Uh, homosexuality done exceeded them. Planned Parenthood ain't got nothing on homosexuality. It is abomination to kill a seed. Just think about it. Almighty God breath. It's in the seed of a sperm. The sperm is in the testicles of male. When they have intercourse in the butthole of a male or female, they are putting the breath of Almighty God in that wasteland. When you have oral sex, when you are masturbating, when you have intercourse in someone's rectum, then those acts are grave violations to the commands of Almighty God. You have to think like a father. A loving father will move mountains in order to get to his children. He will rip them, screaming and hollering out of their hands of those who are abusing his children and he would deal with those people. Do not sit in power and get a job and set up laws against the commands of Almighty God. Just breathe. Breathe in and breathe out. You know that breath belongs to God Almighty. The breath that you are breathing belongs to him. How would you like for someone, how would you like for your father to have intercourse with someone in their butthole while you were being born? You wouldn't be alive today to tell the story, but yet you can make this legal for another child to be born. In that dark, stinky hellhole. Let me tell you what your spirit can do. When you talk, 
That's not your flesh talking. That is your spirit talking. When you see, that is not your flesh seeing or your ears hearing. That is your spirit seeing and your spirit hearing. You see how wonderfully Jesus Christ made us in God's almighty image according to almighty God's creation. But we didn't have a father who chose to be gay or have intercourse inside of an anus. If that was the case at the time of conception, we would not be here working and living and making laws. People say, well, you know, homosexuality got rights. Yeah, man gave them that right to live that way. Not God Almighty. These people are lost because somebody created that world. Is Almighty God going after the lost? No. He's going after the creator who made laws to legalize homosexuality. It's illegal to mistreat people. I agree with that. But do not legalize something from which Almighty God had deemed to be an abomination. Or else you have to live in that filth. Did you not know of the reapers? Almighty God said, you will reap what you sow. The house you build for someone else will be yours in the end. Everything unfaithful that came into this world will remain in this world. All the laws that came into this world, all the wars that came into this world, it still exists. God said it's never going to leave. It got to go somewhere. That's why Almighty God is going to destroy this heaven and this earth. You think history was way back then and it's not going to affect us? What happened in the past is happening now. Look at the censors. We are being censored. In the same manner that Joseph and Mary, Jesus' mother, was censored. Joseph and Mary had to leave the land where they were living and go to the land from where Joseph was born in order for Joseph to be counted among the male children. That did not leave. It's still happening, but in a different form. It is called Agenda 21. It's a form of censoring people, censoring their knowledge, the count, the information flow, what could be spoken and what cannot be spoken in this dark world. You thought Jesus Christ had it easy? King Herod had a hit on Jesus Christ before he was even born. Moses had a hit on his life before he was even born. All of God's almighty people of his lineage have a hit on their life before they were born. Almighty God kicked Adam and Eve out of his kingdom because they disobeyed the commands of Almighty God. And he kicked them out of his kingdom and back onto this earth. Where the prince of darkness dwell. The one who was trying to take over Almighty God's kingdom. And it's still happening up to this day. That is what all of these globalists is doing. Through their agendas and mandate. Mandates. They want to own everything in this world. And they don't, do not care about losing their soul in that lake of fire. See, this battle is already won through Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. That vaccination is not about saving lives. Because if it was about saving lives, then they would think about the people who is losing their life because of that vaccination, 
who was being lame and crippled. And all kinds of illnesses happening to them behind that COVID-19 vaccination. But they don't care because these people who sit in power want to save their lives. Even if it means the citizens lose theirs. We just a statistic. We just a number, a percentage. There's too many people in this world. And people don't mind if they violating the commands of Almighty God. They don't mind about that. They say they deal with God when the time comes. No. God is going to deal with them. Now. The time have already came. And he is sealing people according to their works. And I'm talking about those who work in power, who choose not to change, who is chasing their wealth. You see, everything they, that they are doing to us, it going to remain down here on this earth. When God take us home, they going to be left with all this. Almighty God said, what enter into this world will, will remain in this world. They got to go somewhere. And it is not going to his kingdom. So it's down here. When God destroyed this heaven and earth in the lake of fire, then all of this going to be in hell. And there's going to be a great big old guff that protect us from them. Read about Lazarus and the rich man. It explained it very well. I don't care if men attack me, but my faith is my signature. I am a sinner who placed her faith in the in the words, will, plans, and commands of Almighty God, according to the teaching, testimony, and the showmanship of Jesus Christ through the Spirit of Truth. Because of my faith, Almighty God gave me the Spirit of Prophecy. When Almighty God came to me through vision and dreams to help me fight my son, and his family battles. Then he turned around and wanted me to do something in his behalf. And when he asked me to do this, I thought I couldn't do it. I said, oh no, God, that's way beyond me. I'm not that knowledgeable. Almighty God told me you wasn't that knowledgeable when I gave you gifts and talents to deliver your son out of bondage. That same knowledge I want you to use in my behalf. Almighty God told me that same knowledge he wanted me to use in his behalf. And through my son, testimony, trials and tribulation, Almighty God said he was gonna win battles through his people. Almighty God said, my son is not alone in this battle. He said he was going to give me a world of people to fight this battle. And when they came up with that coronavirus vaccination, a flood of people came forth and said, no, I'm not going to take it. They all said they wasn't going to take it. And the one that did take it is fighting against it too. There's governors, police officers, SEALs, other people in the military, nurses, doctors, judges, lawyers, construction workers, and the people are endless. And they all said they are not going to take it. Almighty God said we have the rights to have the choice to choose. We have the rights 
to have the choice to choose. Almighty God said he gave those rights to us. He gave it to the least of these. Jesus Christ talked about it. Look up the least of these in the scripture. You can find it in Matthew. And not only that, the Constitution gives us the rights to have the choice to choose. And these rights to have the choice to choose is called the consent. These people are not doctors or, or, or judges or lawyers. They are people that work up in power. And they set up boundaries for them to work in. But somehow they work it on the outside of their boundaries. A mandate is not a law. When you don't go through Congress, then you're a king. They fought that revolutionary war for America to not have a king to rule over the people. And yet we have a president. Not we, but America have a president in the year of 2021 who decide to be a king. He is known by his works. And not only he's a king, but a lot of these leaders in other countries are kings too. And somebody that made them a king, whether it be against their will or not, they had to rule like a king over the, over the people. This is a one world order run by globalists, run by those who want to own everyone. God told man to have dominion over the animals, the fish of the sea, the fowls of the air, the creep things upon the earth, or the whole earth. But he did not give them the command to rule over their brothers and sisters. To hush her up when God is speaking through us. To put us out, out of a job when we choose not to take the coronavirus vaccination. You know, they came up with this virus when they start manipulating the humans with the animals. This is an evolutionary movement. A evolutionary do not believe in God Almighty. They believe in evolution. They believe that people poop from out of thin air, from animals, filth, whatever. They think that we came from animals, we the people. And they got people believing that they are safe in these people's hands. They want to put robots doing everything that is abomination to God. Creating robots in the image of man and want us to serve them through these robots. Or they want to fight against the people through these robots. These robots they call artificial intelligence. I don't care what they do up in power. But when their powers affect me, my family, and our future in God's almighty kingdom, then I'm going to speak up. Almighty God said, if men offer you life, or death, choose death. But if Almighty God offer you life or death, choose life. What this means is, is man will offer you life if you choose not to fight.
for the life that Almighty God is offering you. Or else they're going to cut you off from anything that God is trying to do through you. They will even cause you bodily harm. Cause you to lose your job. Cause you to live in the streets. Use you as an example. Cut you from your family tree. Shame you before the world if you choose not to get the shot. This is the life they want to give you. A coronavirus vaccination. They've done lied to the world over and over and over again about that vaccination. They done fired people in the FDA and the CDC who was fighting against it. And they replaced them with someone, other people, who went along with their programs. They censor you if you say something in the media that they don't like. They will cut you off. Almighty God said these are called works as well. And it is going to remain here for those who is making it hard for his people to leave from out of hell. The hell that they had established for them to live in. But God Almighty said, they built this home and they have every right to live in it. Almighty God said, they are not coming to his kingdom. That is the reason why he kicked Adam and Eve and that old serpent out of his kingdom. He gave Adam and Eve the house of reform, and but he gave that old serpent the second death. So you look at that before you make a choice to choose who you should serve, Almighty God or man. If man is violating the commands of Almighty God, then you run from that. You correct them. You don't have to have a degree to correct something that you know that is a violation to the commands of Almighty God. You don't need no degree for that. Your life depends on that. And theirs do too. Matter of fact, they are more scared than you are because they sitting way up in power and doing the opposite of what Jesus Christ had taught for them to do. The higher you up, the more people you serve. You are a slave. And Jesus Christ is your master. They told me that in order not to get the vaccination shot, I need some type of verification stating that my faith will not allow me to get the shot. I have the testimony of Jesus Christ. Maybe I need to go in the scripture and dig that up and give it to them. They believe in evolution and I believe in Jesus Christ. There's a lot of things that they believe in that I don't believe in. But when that shot was presented as a savior, to humanity and they say if you do not get the shot you would die or you could die God told me to choose death they lying to you they did this to the people they not coming forth with the truth they hide the truth truth from you and they feed you lies and the people that are trying to come out with the truth, they are censoring them, shadow banning them, doing everything to them in order to prevent the truth from coming forth. Almighty God said, he will give me a mountain of people to fight this battle. Almighty God said, they are the truth. They are the one who is seeking the truth, not trying to cover it up. 
Oh my God, I said, those people who wants to give you the shot, they are hiding the truth. Or they are supporting the government that is hiding the truth. Oh my God, I said, that is not his government. Oh my God, I said, that is the government of bondage. Oh my God, I said, they are doing what they are doing to his people in this age, in the day of the Sabbath, they did it to Adam and Eve and Jesus Christ, Moses, and so forth. Almighty God said, this is Armageddon. He said, those who try to save their lives, they will lose it. But those who lose their life for his name's sake, will save their life. You fight. And you force those people in power to tell you the truth. They are not your God. They are not your father or your judge. Nor your judge. They are not your leaders. They are your brothers and sisters who want to be gods over you. Whose spirit is Facing the judgment of Almighty God. Almighty God said, The most offensive thing that these people had did to him was to crucify his firstborn, Jesus Christ, to blaspheme the Holy Ghost, and create covetous laws to steal from his people. And make a law that legalize a male to have intercourse through a waste of him. Oh my God said, that is where his breath is going. Through, through the wasteland of somebody behind Almighty God breath of life. Or in the mouth of a person. This is not how God planned for his seed to enter into the world. Almighty God had wonderfully made woman to carry his seed. Not someone behind. You have to think like a father who loves his children and is willing to do whatever it takes to deliver his children from out of the hands of those who hate your children and desire to cause nothing but harm to your children. And when you come to visit your children, you see that they are in the image that you have not created for their spirit to be like. I remind you, Almighty God is a spirit. And the breath that we breathe is his spirit covered with dust that God called a soul and a flesh. If someone has set up laws to enslave your children underneath their custody, would you not set up a deliverance for the spirit of your children? only for the spirit of your children and set up a prison for those who did this to your children you know it hurt almighty god to know that his children was recreated into an image that is offensive to him to lust after things that will cause them nothing but harm and will harm other people. This is what the, these homosexual laws caused. Caused, on, caused the spirit of Almighty God's children to lust after things that will cause them and other people harm. It will make them wrong and not a reform. You may not want to be a believer of the truth, but Almighty God said, the unbelievers, 
and the fearful will have their part in the lake of fire. Jesus Christ had redefined who his family is, who is the family of Almighty God. 